Welcome back. In today's video, let's go over the most important tab, the Content Selector tab. The Content Selector tab demonstrates how our customization tools really work. Instead of building your site from scratch, a time-consuming process, the Content Selector allows you to pull content from your existing desktop site. Importantly, if the menu links or content are updated on the desktop site, our system recognizes this and pulls the updated content. The blue highlighted bar shows which navigation links are being presently pulled. If we deselect the blue menu bar and hit save, you'll see that the automatic menu disappears for this page. We can choose any set of links to display as our mobile menu, say this secondary menu, If you have more than four links selected, we automatically put those links under a cutoff menu here to save vertical screen space on small mobile phones. Settings for this can be found under Design, Menu. The green highlighted boxes show which main body content your site is set to pull. We can choose almost any area of content to pull, such as these sections and the numbers refer to the vertical ordering. Number one will come above number two. Now this is all great, but what if you have many, many pages on your desktop site and you don't want to have to go through each page individually? Let's look at the Save button in more detail. When you hit Save, you'll see that the default is to save your selections only for this page. This way you can test your selections on any given page without breaking the rest of the site. Once you're happy with your selections on this page, click on Advanced and we have two boxes, one for Menus and one for Content. You can choose to save your selections for this page only, all pages where the URL contains something, this is useful for defining a whole section of your site, like say your blog pages. All subpages. This means all pages other than the home page. This is also very useful for sites that have one layout for the home page and then one layout for every other page. And finally, all pages, which sets your selections site wide. Now, just a final note about strategy. When you begin working on a site, your best strategy is to follow the main menu links and test to see if the menu and content selections are correct. Sometimes you'll find a section on the site that has a different page layout, like for example, the travel section here. You can adjust the menu and content selections here, then apply those selections to all pages that include slash travel. 